How are you doing today? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Andreas Frühle and in today's video I'm going to talk about the final table lineup of the 2019 US Poker Open. Before I head into the specifics for the nine players on the final table, I just want to show you quickly the odds on poker shares. There's an affiliate link in the description below as well. The odds go from 3.5 for Chris Hunnikan, who is a chip later, down to 48 for Nick Schulman. Into this final table, starting with about 1.8 million chips, which is more than 25% chips in play, is Chris Hunnikan. He's got an online background and he's played as Big Honey on PokerStars and he's played over 30,000 tournaments on this platform alone. He's also got about 4.4 million in live caches and his odds heading into this final table is at 3.5. Second in chip is going to be Keith Tilston. He won this event last year in 2018 and he's got 2.8 million in overall caches. His chip count right now is at 1.3 million. So there's about a 500,000 chips gap to the chip later. So he needs to knock out one of the middle section in order to overcome this brutal ICM situation that's happening. Because all in all, you know, after all, only five out of the nine players here are going to cash the events. And you're going to also see the payouts at the end of this video. Third in chips is going to be Martin Samani and he's won the 25k PCA high roller this year in January and he's got about 1.5 million in caches. Now he's going to start the final table with 805,000 chips and his odds are 6.55. So the way I would go about it is look at the chip counts and you multiply the odds. I don't think for the 6.55 odds it looks all that great, especially because Samani is gonna be in a really tricky ICM situation on this final table while having two players who cover him. Um, and so he's gonna be you know, in some tough spots, I think tonight when he comes to this final table. Next up is going to be David Peters, who I don't think I need to introduce, but just I'm going to give you the cliffs. He's in, is the fifth on the all-time money list. He's got over 30 million in live caches, and he's getting to the final table with 640k chips. His odds are 7.65. 7 so also again, try to multiply that by the chip count, and then you know 6.4 million is roughly how many chips are in play. And he's also got a shot at the hundred thousand dollar extra. Uh, plus a trophy for the player who accumulates the most point throughout this series in the US Poker Open 2019. Right in the middle of the nine players is going to be Jason Kuhn. He's got over 23 million in live caches and is 16th on the all-time money list. And he's got 630,000 chips here. His odds are 7.75. And I think for him, it's also very tough to overcome uh, these odds here. Um, so it's I wouldn't make this bet because he needs to triple up first to get to the cheap and then he still needs to win. So I think that some of these other odds are way better. Even though Jason Kuhn is a great player, this is going to be a pretty difficult ICM spot for him. In sixth place, we got Justin Bonomo, the all-time money list leader on hand and mob. He's got over 44 million in live caches and he's got similar chip count and similar odds to Jason Kuhn. Um, so everything that I just said about Jason Kuhn, I think also applies to Justin Bonomo. With the middle of the field all being a bit together now, we're coming to the last three players of this field and Sheen Winter, he has cashed at the US Poker Room 2019 already five times and he's actually the leader to go for the $100,000 and the trophy for this event all together. So he's definitely got something to lose and he's got some extra incentive to finish fifth at least in this event to lock himself up uh, the trophy. His odds are 13.95 and his uh, chip count is 375,000. So again, I would multiply usually here. So I think you're getting to a pretty decent price compared to the others. But at the same time, he's got the extra incentives to be, you know, min cashing here. So I don't know how good the odds are for him. I certainly wouldn't go for the bet just because there's some more incentive, uh, incentives for him to take this one down as a series. Second last in chips is going to be Ryan Reese. He's the 2013 WCP main event winner and he's got about 13.9 million in, in live caches. His odds of 18.5 are quite a long shot. Uh, he also, if you look at his chip counts of 340,000, which is about 30 big blinds or even a little bit less. But if he's getting in some of these regems and then managing to double up, this long shot might actually be worth it more so than the ones in the middle, where, which, uh, you know, where the odds are not as great as 18.5. 
Last in chips, we got Nick Schulman, who is also a poker commentator, and he's got about 10 big blinds left for this event, and he's got about 11.5 million in overall caches on hand and mob, which you also can find in the links in the description below. His odds are quite a long shot, 48 here, as he's in there with just you know 10 big blinds, but you know just a couple of preflop villains, and you never know whether this can still happen. He's also got even a, a bigger long shot for winning this trophy, but he's still hanging in there. I think uh, at the same time, Sheen Winter uh, is not allowed to cash, and then he's got a shot. Here you also got an overview of the chip counts and also the payouts, which as I said at the beginning, 1.3 million up top, and then 2.6 buying, also known as 260,000 or 264,000 here for fifth place out of these nine. Um, the event will start about in roughly six hours, so you can still place your bets until then. I also don't just talk about poker, I also play poker. In the description below, you got a link to my Twitch stream where I play Pot Limit all my games online, where you can interact with me, talk about poker and other stuff. And also, I'm heading out to the 2019 WCOP this year. So if you play live poker, I'm going to play some mid to high six Pot Limit my cash games and also some tournaments. Um, just say hi if you're out there. And also, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me the like and then also subscribe to the channel and get the notification bell on to not miss a video on my channel in the future. Thanks for watching.